In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a scatter chart. As you can see, your scatter chart has um, x axis and y axis, and uh, we have uh, the series of data sets, and that is connected to uh, each point based on x and y axis. So let's create a new project. Again, uh, let me copy paste uh, package in front of FX documents. This is going to be tutorial number OK, let's remove a button and label. I will enlarge uh, anchor pane. 640, 400 pixels. Then go to chart. Scan the chart. Uh, I will say uh, average high and low temperature for title of a scatter chart. This is going to be months. FX ID, I will say uh, X axis. Y axis. Temperature. Pretty much that's all. Um, make the controller. Remove unused import. Remove these uh, methods. We don't need it. Again, I'm going to use a string and double. You can use a super class called number. X, Y chart series um, will be a string and double. I will name it as a series high for high temperature. New X, Y chart and series. Let me uh, add a legend. I'll say as a high for high temperature.
Uh, for data sets, uh, I'm going to add five of them, uh, January to May. That's for the months. Why for uh, high temperature? Here is the x, then y value. Uh, has to be a double, so you you add a decimal point. April, um, let's say, sorry, May, I will say, uh, 39 Celsius. Then you can add to uh, scatter chart. Now you have a sketch out with one series, temperature and then uh, months. Let me repeat one more thing for uh, low temperature. Copy, paste it, then uh, I'm going to change uh, minor uh, details, high to low, and then I will change the temperature to be lower, roughly 10 degree lower, then uh, everything will be um, pretty much the same. I will make it about 10 degree low. Let me add the series um, low temperature here. Seems okay. Now you can see low and high temperature. Then uh, that's it for this exercise. Thank you.